stir it aside. Oop. It's a beautiful. Next one, my baby cuttlefish. Wow, so many ingredients. So, so again, I told you this is seafood, so you don't need to cook, cook it longer. Add the scallops. I did not turn on the exhaust fan because uh, it's so noisy. Oh, beautiful. Then, my tiger prawn. Am I cooking for the 10 people? Oh, next, my mussels. Wow. This is like a la fiesta. Cooking a la fiesta. So making sure the temperature is high. Then, your anato seeds. So I'll keep some for my oxtail. Look so yummy. You can also add some fish, it's up to you. But me, I, I prefer this kind of uh, seafood things. Then after that, you have to pour your toasted rice. The diluted one, of course. Too easy. Fast and easy. Next, you have to add your peanut butter. So, Kari Kari said, it's more yummier, yummier if you put a lot of peanut butter. So I put a lot. No. And I'll add more of this diluted toasted rice. See, my sauce is just good enough. It's not too, too sticky. And see? All right. Next one, you have to put your beans because this is hard. You need to boil a little bit longer. So I need some part of this for my oxtail. All right, this one for my oxtail. So while waiting for the string beans to become have to prepare my eggplant. Eggplant, eggplant. So now I have to lower my temperature. So, um, my style, because if you cut this earlier, prior to your cooking, this eggplant will become dark. So, to maintain its uh, freshness, cut it only when you're about to mix up with your ingredients. Yeah. So, you know me, when I'm cooking, I'm not only cooking according to its taste, but according to the beautiful thing in front of me the beautiful mixture of this thing now you can add your eggplant eggplant you see it's so white now you can lower your temperature because it's hard to boil like crazy look at my phone oh so yummy right. so um, make it sure that your peanut butter is good enough because curry curry the peanut butter helps the curry curry more tasty mm, I can't wait it I'm sure I can eat a lot of rice again later on all right so I'm gonna test it mm. so um, I got a feeling I need to put more peanut butter I have 
have a lot of peanut butter. Don't worry. Yes. Of course, some commercial cooking, they have to minimize the peanut butter because peanut butter is expensive. So, now you see that. Alright. So, let it boil a little bit. And you have to prepare your pechay, your bok, bok choy. When you're preparing your pechay or your bok choy, you make sure you have to separate the hard, this one, the hard part of the leaves. And you can put it first before the green leaves so that, you know, you don't spoil the freshness of your pechay. Look at that. See that it seems I'm cooking for 10 people. All right, so again, slicing my leaves. I don't need to slice it, I want its original sizes. I don't want to cut it into smaller ones. So, who says that you cannot make a seafood kare kare? Next one, of course, the finale your salt. Season it with salt and pepper. Okay. So and then again when I'm cooking I want to make it sure it's not only tastes good but it looks good. That's the bottom line. Okay. I need some pepper. So you see the stickiness of the sauce? Voila! This is awesome. Yes. Okay. Mmm! Ah, my god. Alright. So, you can add some legumes bouillon. So this is um instant stock mix milangi por bouillon okay so don't uh, control your temperature so this is your vegetable mix Let's see we're gonna try the, um, the beans if it's already okay ah perfect So I think I need more, a little bit of salt. Control your salt, okay? Okay, so I want to increase a little bit. So um, everything was not really perfect, but you know, I don't like uh, saggy uh, eggplant and string beans. All right, so don't overcook all this seafoods because it become hard mm -hmm. all right and then put this one green grass of home wow wow the last one chop 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 the green onion seeds voila Okay, now let me try my uh, the baby cuttlefish. Okay, Bihat. awesome. Perfect. I want the bagong now. You see, isn't it delicious? 
Alright, so I gonna try my seafood curry curry. Ala kitmon. So now I gonna try my seafood curry curry ala kitmon. So this is my shrimp paste. And my rice, mochos rice. Yes. Okay, the shrimp paste, shrimp paste. And now I'm gonna try my scallops. Or beet armor. You're gonna love me more. Yeah. This is the squid tentacles. Tentacles? Oh, sounds like. Mm. <laughs> The squid tentacles. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I love it. Beachy. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. That's it. That's why if you're cooking like this, you can eat a lot of rice. This is like mukbang. No, I don't say mukbang. Mmm. Mmm. Minsa. Mmm. Awesome, awesome. Everything is BG. The color. Give me the color. Mmm. So, this is my last prawn. Voila! No more. No more. This is yummy. So, that's it folks. I hope you enjoy my cooking. This follow the procedure. Very simple. Very fast. You don't need so much time to prepare. Of course, you have to, prepare to buy your ingredients. Other than that, you don't need too much time in the kitchen to do your cooking. But make it sure that you know you're doing the right um the right cooking otherwise it will end up like epic fail right so that's it thank you for watching and hope you subscribe please subscribe now enjoy the rest of the day you see ah, my thank you bye bye